everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, I've got Jez with me. We're going to shoot some um, feral pigeons in an old chicken hut. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like. I've got a phone call asking if I could come and shoot some ferals out of an old chicken hut. I think I haven't had time to come and have a look in the daytime. And that's why I don't know if there's any obstacles in there or anything. We're going in blind, as I say. So, uh, we'll see how we get on, mate. I'm using the AirAms S510 Ultimate Sporter with the DigiX C50. What are you using, Jess, tonight? I'm using the smaller AirAms S200 with the powered 008 on top. Uh, great little rifle for such occasions, you know, inside buildings and things like that. It's not too powerful, but it's powerful enough to knock rats and, and ferals down. So, see yeah. how it goes. Good. I've got the Pulsar Accolades Pro 2s with me, and you've got your Pulsar, what you've got with your Jez? The Axion, I can't remember, the, I think it's an XM30 something or other. Yeah. So as I say, we're going in blind, I don't know what to expect, we're here, we'll see how we get on. Hope you enjoy it, let us know in the comments what you think. Can you see her, mate? Right, let's so have a look in there quickly. There's about five pigeons on the third rafter down, and then there's like some chicken boxes on the right hand side. I don't know, I've never been in there. Yeah, and then there's like a couple sat in there as well, so. Looking promising then. Looking promising, but we'll get seven or eight, yeah. Yeah. I, can't, I don't know what's further down the building, but. Yeah, okay, mate. Certainly a few just here. It's nesting everywhere. You see all the feces on the floor? Scattered all over what it is. It's old chicken sheds. Before we get going, I'd just like to point out a couple of things. This is a pest control video. If you are offended by the culling of pest species, then please do not watch. Also, you may see birds fly when shot. This is a heart and lung shot. They drop to the floor and very quickly expire. Some of these pigeons was only five yards and I couldn't get the Digi XC50 to focus down on them. So some of them are less than five yards, so I'll have to give them old over. One's about 10 yards, so my rifle is set up for 15 yards. So again, I'll just give it a little bit of hold of it, not a lot. So we accounted for about seven or eight in the first shed. Now we've just moved into the middle part of the two sheds where the offices were and the canteen. So we're having a quick scout round before we go around and start mopping some more pigeons up. Just look at the damage that they're doing, all the feces all over. You can see why the farmer wanted them clearing up. Microwave if anybody wants it. Jesus Christ, it stinks. 
We come across some strange yeah. things in this shed we did. I always wondered this was one of them. Never thought, I can remember having one of these when I was a kid. Was it apple and orange for Christmas, mate? Something like that. A bit of coal. <laughs> Please remember we have been called in to clear all the pigeons from this site. As you can see, there is a great amount of faeces from the pigeons, which is also harmful to humans. This is not being done for sport, it's been done for a pest control and also a service provided for the farmer. We also have called the squabs as they would not survive with their aid from their parents. Look at all this, look. Just broken away. It's crushed and frustrating. Oh, God, it stinks. So after clearing out the first shed and the offices, we now move on to the second shed where there is a lot more ferals to be dealt with. I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> I was looking at the one up here. Hang on, hang on. Can't get a clear shot on that one. Let's move down a bit, mate. A little bit of a mix up here, we was both going for the same bird. Seems I got there first, but these things do happen when you're shooting with a friend. Was it? Sorry. <laughs> this is 
Peter, and this is Paul. Giant. Uh, There's not many, you just catch them by your hands. You swap tactics, mate, are you? But look at the colour of this one, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's purple, isn't it? Yeah. But, sorry, mate, she has to go. Yeah, got it, mate. So as Jez takes the last pigeon of the night in the chicken huts, we then move over to the surrounding farm buildings. As I said earlier in the video, some of these shots will be heart and lung shots, where the pigeons look like they're flying off, but in fact they fly drop to the floor and very soon expire. They are not suffering. Well, we've come to the end of the night session. Uh, we've got 41 picked in total. What do you reckon of the night, mate? I think a fantastic night. I think the farmer's going to be jolly happy with yeah, what we've done. Yeah, probably from the footage you can see what damage they've been doing in there. It's absolutely stinks in there. It's unreal. Yeah, but it's been a grand night. The DigiX on the Air Arms S510, brilliant scope. Well, I think there's three or four shots in there that there was uh, probably a bit blurry. I think. There was like five, between five and seven yard shots that I couldn't get focused on properly. But other than that, yeah, brilliant. Unfortunately, Jez's Pad 008, it decided to throw a wobbly tonight and wouldn't record, so that's a shame. So we've lost Jez's footage from the 008. Job well done, mate, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for Jez for tagging along tonight, mate. Yeah, I know it's, it's been a while. It's a pleasure. Although it's my job and my day-to-day -day job, I still... Still love coming out, you know, with Dwayne and shooting a few. You know, it's good to catch up. It is, mate, yeah. We've got a busy weekend, really, mate, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, tomorrow, clay shooting. We've got a charity clay shoot tomorrow, and then we've got to go back in the afternoon. We're going to buff the boat up and polish, polish it up, and then Sunday morning we're getting the boat That's in the water, it. aren't we? Boat's in the water. Yeah, so it's, it's a busy tomorrow. weekend for us. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like, a share, and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell in the top right cam corner. So it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Hope to catch you all soon. Bye for now. Jess has got the correct PPE as you can see. So with pigeons especially, disease ridden things here. Carry some gloves with you.